There is a blind hem stitch built into the Singer Heavy Duty 4423 ma machine. And I'm gonna show you how first you fold the fabric, then what settings you're looking for, and then how to guide it. Now we're just using the regular presser foot, but there is an optional Singer blind hem foot for this machine that has a guide so you can stay good sewing fairly straight. So I'm gonna do it without the foot, uh, you'll, and we'll see how we do. So first off, you wanted to turn up your fabric to the desired new hem that you're putting in. So I would recommend that you go ahead and press this. Now this raw edge, you could pink it like this fabric is so it doesn't unravel. You can do an overlock stitch or you could even just kind of tuck it underneath before turning up that hem. So your choice how you want to handle it. I'm going to just do it the, the flat way for right now. Then you're going to turn the fabric back and expose a little bit of this edge. And so the stitch that you're doing, make sure you pick the right one, the black stitch that actually is stitching to the left, so it bites to the left. There's another one over here that's the overlock stitch, and it bites to the right. So you don't want that one, you want the one to the left side. So the bite is crucial, because you want to take just a little tiny bite of this fold. Not very much, because then it will show, and then you don't really get to call it a blind hem. Uh, matching your fabric and using a needle appropriate to your fabric is definitely going to be the key here. But I've got pink thread in, so let's give it a go. So your stitch width is gonna be anywhere from three to five, somewhere in there. Stitch length, you don't want it too, too long. Start anywhere between one and two, and just make sure that, again, you've picked the right a stitch that is jumping to the left side. So the first couple of stitches may be over here on this side. So you could even hand turn them in until you see, and I was just actually one stitch away, until you see the needle jump to the left side. Once you're there, then you can move the fabric fold so we can sink the needle just barely into this edge. Now that we're lined up, we can kind of use part of the foot to kind of guide and catch just a little bit of that fabric. Now I take my time here and here we go all the way down just jumping in. We'll see how we go here. I have to confess I'm used to using a guide so this will be I have to kind of work a little bit harder here. Okay so this is what you're after it's just a little tiny bite into the fabric fold here. So you can see as I was and I kind of sit off to the side when I'm filming here so I did get a little bit off but the concept is is that you want them to be all nice and even. I bet if I was sitting in front of this machine and could watch it while not talking I would have hit them all but that's the idea is to go ahead and get that nice and even. Now if you're like me and you get like this I would highly recommend a blind hem foot and of course if you had matched your thread nobody would have noticed if you were a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller as we went. And actually I did catch those I just didn't get them as even as all the other stitches. So check out you do have a blind hem built into this machine.